Google Maps. Absolutely magic. Without it, every time I left the house, I'd probably get lost. But thankfully, it put my location in, my destination, I'm on the way, never gonna get lost again. But who do I have to thank for this marvel of modern technology? Well, it's people that work in Geographic Information Systems, or GIS for short. They're the ones that make things like maps, and weather forecasts, and even police reports, and they do it through the use of geographic locations, or where stuff is in the world. Now, I wanna find out more, so do you. So that's why we're on our way, thanks to Google Maps, to talk to Drew from Map Solutions to find out all about it. You have reached your destination. You have made 704 wrong turns. Drew? Well, I may have got myself a little bit off course, but luckily I've tracked someone down who can help explain it all to me and help us find out how you can get started on your career in the spatial sciences. Drew. Hands. Yeah, mate, great to meet you. You too, mate. Hey, I've got some questions about what you do. Can we have a chat? Sure, let's get out of the office and we'll answer a few questions. That sounds awesome. Let's go. Be nicer than the office, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous out here. Yeah, lovely. So what would you like to know, Hans? Okay, cool. Well, you work in GIS. Yep. What is that? GIS is short for Geographic Information Systems. The simplest way I like to think of it is looking after information that's used for maps. So that enables the, uh, the collecting of data, the creating data, editing it, keeping it up to date. Anything that's used for maps. Like Google Maps? Google Maps is a big user of GIS. Wouldn't exist without guys like us. So what sort of jobs can you get involved with if you work in GIS? GIS isn't tied to any particular field, so you could be working in anything that has a use for mapping. So that could be things like mining or government or defence or the police. If they have a use for mapping, then they'll have a use for the services of a GIS person. For instance, I'm a GIS consultant with a company who's got a focus in local government. Local government has a great use of maps in terms of planning and engineering. So I go out to local government sites, consult with them, find out how they want to use maps, and basically put what they want into reality. Cool, okay, so how did you get into it in the first place? I started off by doing a Bachelor of Surveying degree at Curtin University. I did my fourth year option in GIS, and I was the only person to do it at the time. It was a little known industry. So you started it at Curtin. It's evolved, I'm assuming. What sort of courses are on offer now? It sure has. It's bigger than it was when I was there. They still do the Bachelor of Surveying degree, but there's also a Bachelor of Applied Science in Geographic Information Science. They double that up with Applied Geology as well as a double degree, and there's a couple of post-grad courses available in GIS. Plenty to do. Heaps. It's great. OK, cool. Well, I've got a handle on it now, but I need you to give me the edge three questions. You ready? Go for it. Number one, how do I get into the industry that you're in? Well, if you're good at uh, science and maths and computing at school, you could go to Curtin University, get one of these degrees, and then there's plenty of jobs on offer from there. And what sort of person is going to be really good working in GIS? I reckon ideally it's suited to someone who's both creative and analytical. You've also got to be pretty good at communicating with people because you'll be dealing with a lot of people from different industries. You've got to understand what they want from a map and put that into reality. And if you could offer a piece of advice to somebody who's thinking about doing it, yeah. what would you tell them? I would say don't be afraid to talk to people in GIS. There's an awful lot to learn from people in it and there's a lot of friends to be made. Oh, and you're such good blokes, Drew. Thank yeah. you so much. No worries, Hans. It's Sweet. good to meet you. Sweet. OK. And you're going to have a go at some GIS stuff. Selfie. <laughs> what is this thing? Yeah, that's not a camera. How good is that? Oh, I didn't even know some of those were jobs. I could even end up working with my old friend Google Maps here. But you need a degree in spatial sciences. So if you want a career that's going to put you on the map, then get on the internet, iwannabe.com.au. All the information's up there. All right, Siri, take me home. You are lost. Your car has been stolen. Come on.